You shouldn't have to explain how you want things done every time you open Claude. With Claude skills though, you just set it once and it works like that forever. So in this video, I will show you how to use Claude skills, what they can do, and why you should try them out. Plus, stick around till the end of the video for a few tips that will save you some trial and error. Okay, let's start with the basics. Claude skills are Anthropic's answer to one of the most annoying parts of using AI, which is repetitive prompting. They're folders containing instructions, scripts, and resources that Claude loads when needed. Let me show you how to make one. You can start using skills simply by asking Claude to build one for you. If you already know what you want, give Claude the full instructions up front. For example, create a skill for editing my website content. Always use short paragraphs, write in a casual tone, and never use the word utilize. Okay, give it a second and Claude will generate the skill. And once it's done, you can simply hit the save skill button and that's it. It's ready to use. If you're not sure where to start, just ask Claude to create a skill you want and it will guide you through the process with some questions. You can also download the skill file to share with others or upload it manually. If you want to view and manage your skills, you'll find them in the settings under capabilities. This is the simplest way to create skills. If you're familiar with coding, you can also build them manually with Markdown. You'll find a link to the Cloud Skills documentation and our article on how to use Cloud Skills in the description. All right, since you now know how to create skills, let's look at three great ways to use them. So first, document creation. Good news, Cloud has pre-built this for you. Excel spreadsheets with formulas, Word documents with formatting, PowerPoint presentations. You can add your own guidelines and edit them for your needs. Second, brand guidelines. This one you'll have to create yourself and it's really worth it. You can feed Claude your company's DNA, visual identity, tone of voice, core messaging, target audience, and writing style. Then sit back and watch Claude nail all the work. Third, it's debugging. Developers, this one's for you. You can create a skill to find and fix problems in your code following your team's debugging standards. You can either create a generic debugging skill or make it more specialized for CSS layout issues, website problems, or API endpoints. You can actually build skills for client reports, project workflows, code formatting, SEO checking, you name it. Skills will ensure consistent quality, time savings, and smarter ways of working. If you're part of a team, you can also share your skills so everyone applies the same standards. Plus, you'll keep Claude more focused, save tokens on prompts, and a massive eye strain headache. Honestly, you'll feel smarter when you're not copy-pasting a long prompt for the 10th time. One thing to know though is that skills, they don't run constantly. Think of them as dormant expertise that activates when needed. Either ask Claude to use a specific skill or just ask Claude to do something and it'll find the right skill automatically. So when should you create a skill? To make it easier, I ask myself these three questions. Have I done this task more than once this week? Am I going to do it again? And do I need it done in a specific way? If you answered yes to all three, just make the skill. You'll stop repeating yourself and Claude will finally work the way you want it to. And hey, if you're finding this helpful and want to learn more ways to work smarter with AI, subscribe to Hostinger Academy as we publish helpful videos like this every single week. All right, so you get what skills are, but with projects, prompts, and subagents, it's uh, easy to wonder where skills actually fit. So let me clear that up fast. People tend to think that Claude skills are just prompts. You may know by now that they're really not the same. Prompts are one-time instructions that you type in every single time. Simply put, skills package those instructions so you don't have to repeat yourself. There's also Claude projects. Projects are dedicated workspaces for organizing conversations. Skills work across all of those conversations automatically. Say you're drafting a client proposal, right? Use projects to keep all the materials organized and add a skill so every draft matches your brand's voice. And then there's Claude subagents, available just in Claude code. We made a whole video about them that you can find in the description below, but here's a quick distinction. Use skills when multiple conversations need the same expertise, and subagents when you need deep focus on multi-step tasks executed outside of the main conversation. It's like reviewing code or performing security audits. Look, the best part about using skills is that you don't have to give up on any other AI tools. You can use skills alongside everything else, even external tools like OpenAI agents. Let us know in the comments if you'd actually like to see us do a comparison between these two. Okay, before you go on to build 50 skills, here are four tips to get them right. Tip one, only create skills for tasks you're actually repeating. 
Remember, skills aren't prompts, so save them for when they're truly needed. Two, tell Claude what a good output looks like and then include examples in your instructions. The more specific you are, the better Claude gets at knowing when to use the skill. Three, test like your life depends on it. Okay, maybe not, but never assume your skill works. Run it a few times, and if something's off, just tell Claude what to fix. It'll generate an updated version. You can keep refining until it's exactly what you need. And four, check out the Claude Skills GitHub. Anthropic put together example skills that you can customize or use as templates for your own. I've put the link in the description below the video. Oh, and just a heads up, if you're downloading skills from anywhere else besides Anthropic, make sure it's a trusted source. And that's a wrap on Claude skills. And let me tell you, they're way better than just prompts saved in your notes. They won't replace everything in your workflow, but for repetitive jobs, you'll love how many hours of copy-paste frustrations they'll actually save you. If you like this video, we've got more videos on AI tools that'll help you work smarter. You can check out the playlist over here. Make sure you subscribe to Hostinger Academy and drop us a comment with your most repetitive AI tasks so I can tell you if a skill could fix it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.